I'm your host, Sean McKenzie. Thank you for joining me once again on my channel on data engineering and data analytics. In this episode, we're going back to our Microsoft Access playlist, and we're going to take a look at reports and how to do a calculated column on an Access report. Now, I've been asked uh, how to do this several times, and so I think uh, this is a really great topic. Uh, sometimes people like to have specific columns in their reports and and uh, would like to do things like calculations or you just want to concatenate some data together into into one column. And so uh, it's a very handy feature. It's a nice technique that you can do to make your reports uh, look nicer and uh, much more easy to read. So without further to do, without further ado, let's get to our uh, calculated columns in Microsoft Access. If you're interested in coaching or special topics that I like to do, make sure to check out my Patreon page. You can see the link in the description below. Okay, so for this example today, we're using the same file uh, that we've used for a couple other of, our, of demonstrations. And uh, you can see this is just a, it's got an orders table and there's a list of orders and uh, the orders have a composite key, which we covered in an earlier episode. So you'll note that the division and order ID together make up the key of this table. And uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're also going to look at the order items table, um, which as you can see, um, it has its own um, order item ID, but it also has the division. And uh, it's got, you know, the items that were on each of the orders. And so um, you'll note that on the right there, you can see division A1 and A2, A3, A4. Th those are the order, that's basically the order number. And then the order item ID uh, for this table is uh, part of a composite key as well. So uh, we did a demonstration on composite keys. You don't really need to know uh, much about that for this uh, demonstration today. Um, just be aware that uh, there are the two keys are there and uh, what I did was I took those two tables and I've created a, a view or a query and I've joined them based off of the uh, the order ID and division which makes up the key so that we have one list that has the order information and it also has all of the order items uh, listed in it so the order information will be repeated so I'm opening it up here, the query, and this is what we're going to base our report off of. So you can see uh, A division A order ID one has you know John Smith. He he was on the order itself, and then the order items he ordered a monster puppet and roller skates, and then you can see uh, Mary Johnson had a different order, and Harold Williams had a different order. And uh, these are all um, these are all just a big list, but it is out of order. As you can see here, we have um, A1. So uh, John Smith had a couple other items that were also on that same first order. And so it's out of order and that's okay because that's how databases work. You can order it if you like in the query, but we're gonna go to our, our report and we're just gonna use that view. And uh, this is a very common use case. Um, we're going to use that view for our report, and we're just going to do a simple list report. And uh, and what we'll do is we'll we'll take all this data, and then we'll put it out on on a page, and then we're going to change some stuff around so that you can see how to do a calculated column based off of a, a report that has real data in it. And so I think what I'll do here is I'm just going to grab everything. Um, so that's the double. Um, right arrow there and I'll hit next and uh, the report wizard does ask us for you know uh, a grouping level but we're gonna we're gonna say no to that we'll just go next uh, but we will sort our report uh, by a division and order ID um, just so that we have a list that is in the right order together in the way that we want it and uh, in order to get a list um, you're gonna choose the tabular report uh, for that and that allows you to to have a nice list that uh, uh, is in a tabular view and we'll change the name before we create the report to orders report and, uh, and then we'll see what we get here so as you can see 
um, access. The wizard created a little report for us. Um, the date is too long for the field there, um, so it puts out the hash marks um, uh, for us. And we can fix that by, um, by creating a little bit of real estate for that field. And uh, so I'll just move that order item. I'll shrink it a bit and I'll give a bit more space for our order date. And I'll, I'll center that um, so that it looks a little bit nicer. And, uh, and then we can sort of see what it looks like. And uh, so I'll go to my print preview off of the design and now you can see the order date is fixed and uh, we can proceed. Now we have these two fields here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna say that the order code for the company, for example, uh, is the combination of those two and we want that in one field. So how, how would we do that? Uh, using a calculated column. So we can do that um, and uh, we can, let's just get rid of all of those um, uh, those fields there and we'll change the label here. This is just the label, so this is just what displays above it. And we'll call it the order code. And, um, and uh, so then what we can do is we'll grab a text box. So as you can see uh, in my controls there in the under design the controls is actually I've only got the drop down I don't have the big display across my ribbon because I've shrunk the window quite a bit um, to make the video but um, so I'll plunk that in there and then delete the, uh, the the label that comes with it and then we can size it so that um, so that it'll it'll fit nicely next to the last name and uh, and then now we have what's called an unbound um, text box. So we can make that into anything that we want. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a, a calculation or a, uh, in this case, we're going to put an expression. So this is the first of two techniques um, that you can use to, uh, to put a calculation in. And in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to use an expression um, instead of you know, code or anything. We're just going to put a, an access expression in there and you can put it, you can actually type it right into the field on the design or you can type it into the control source as you can see I'm doing here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, type in is equal to division and then I'll concatenate using a dash and then I'll put in the order ID. Now make note that, that I'm calling the the field values for the same row that that I'm viewing so that's a nice thing about calculated columns is you can grab whatever the the you know whatever it is and you can put them together so as you can see here I've got you know a dash one is the order and then it's sorted it nicely so all four of those items are all in one I'm gonna go and take the uh, border off here so the border style, I'll change it from solid to transparent. I think the default is that it has a border. And I'll look at it again. So now you can see that looks a little bit nicer. Uh, we could maybe uh, center it or something like that um, to make it look nice. Uh, but the, the main point here is that you can use an expression and you can use the values that are on the same row. Uh, and then it'll put those together as a calculation or a concatenation. And uh, in this case, we've used an access expression to, to give us the order code A1. And um, so, and you can also note all of those four rows are all together. Um, you know, as we saw before in our order query, um, you'll, you'll note that it was out of order. It put all the data together for us, but you know, there was two items up there and two items down here that belong to the same order. Um, sometimes, you, you know, if you haven't sorted your, your view or your query, you'll get strange output. But on your report, you can specify the, uh, you know, whatever, uh, whatever you'd like for the sort order. And so as you can see, using an expression like we did here to put the order code together, that's one way of doing a calculated column. Now, another way of doing it is um, if we wanted to, say, um, use a VBA function, which we can also use in our calculated column. 
So you can do some really like complicated stuff if you need uh, some output that's just crazy uh, in terms of complexity. Uh, you can put that into your calculated column and uh, the way that we can do that is to uh, we'll go to our design view just as we have here and uh, what we'll do is we'll go up here to the view code um, in this case uh, and it'll give you the code uh, the editor code editor and uh, the code editor is going to uh, allow us to create a function now in this case uh, we're creating a function that belongs to this report that we made um, but you could create a function in a module um, that's available to the whole program um, uh, in this case we're creating a function that just works in this report and so we'll put it in the report and we're gonna say uh, our function we'll call it um, uh, order code and we'll say that actually uh, you know our company needs to have the year and then the division and then and then the order ID as the uh, you know as the calculated column and so we can do that um, by just creating a simple little function and that's going to have uh, three inputs on it and I'll put uh, VAR for variant for each of those so it could receive a null value um, as can happen in our uh, in our our records um, so just in case they do have a null value it'll still uh, process it and uh, we'll put a comment at the top give uh, for, to return the the value of uh, of the order code based off of those three items and what I'll do is uh, so I'm just going to create a variable here uh, for the year um, and I'll just say uh, uh, you know dim var year um, and I'll use a variant again uh, a bit of lazy programming uh, but that's the nice thing about access is that you can you can specify that and I'll say okay uh, give me the date part of the of the order date um, uh, that's a built-in function that'll give me just the year off of the date and uh, and then we'll uh, we'll just say that our order code uh, function is equal to the the year and then uh, we'll concatenate um, <clears throat> the division and the order ID uh, from that and uh, or onto that and that'll put together a three-part um, uh, order code using using a VBA function uh, instead of an expression uh, you can make this very complicated this procedure this is just a very simple one but then what we can do is you know you might go up and put uh, you know uh, a value on our order code at the very start of the function um, and then you could put a on on error and it'll still return a value but maybe we'll skip that here but um, so we've got our function it compiles um, so you do a debug compile just to make sure that it's uh, not broken somewhere uh, and then we can go back to our our field that we created and we're gonna erase everything from there and we'll put equal to order code, that's our VBA function, which is now available for us to use in our calculated column. And I'll say, uh, give me back the, you know, the order code based off of the, the order date, which is in the middle of the uh, screen there, and the order, uh, like the division, and the order item, order, I order item ID. And, uh, and pardon me the order ID and that'll give the the order uh, nice order uh, concatenation for our calculated column so as you can see up here I've uh, typed it in you can check it out in the control source as well and you can see uh, whoop, oh I, I I think I did the uh, uh, I did the year wrong you have to put in I think four uh, Y's in there if you want all those so so that gave me something that I wasn't expecting. So let's go fix that. <laughs> and uh, we'll go to, uh, we can right click on our tab there and go to design. And uh, we're gonna go back to our code. Um, that's that order code there. But you can see here actually, uh, this is a nice way to look at your expressions. Um, but we're gonna go to the, uh, to the code and uh, we're gonna put a YYYY in there. 
and that's going to give us the year. The, the date part function is also available in .NET and it's available in SQL Server and it works a little bit differently for each one. But as you can see, there we go. Now we've got 2021-A-1 as our order code. And, uh, and so now uh, that concatenation is a nice, it's a nice uh, calculated column. And if we wanted to, you know, we could go and, and do math calculations as well. So if you wanted to uh, uh, say, say we get rid of uh, first name and uh, uh, we'll take that space and we'll, you know, grab some, uh, grab a little bit of space and we'll, we'll make a price with tax, for example. So if you wanted to do that, uh, you can also do that as an expression or as a VBA function, as I mentioned. And uh, so make a little bit of space here, and then I'm just going to plunk in a new, uh, a new uh, uh, text box. And uh, so we'll grab that from just as we did before. I'll delete the label that comes up because we don't really need a label on this row, or pardon me, in the detail section. Uh, I think that text box is probably big enough so I'll put that comment back where it was and then I'll just grab a label from up up above I'll copy that control C and then I'll paste it and it will usually paste back up there because um, we're in the page header um, section and uh, so now you can see uh, we've got a, a label and we've got um, an unbound text box that we're using and so I'll call that price with tax. And then, so this is another way we could do a calculated column is uh, to, to just create a text box like we did. Um, I'll change the formatting of the other price so that they kind of look the same. And uh, this is where we can, we can type directly in here or we can go to the control source and we'll just say is equal to order price and then uh, we'll times one, uh, say it's 5%, um, you times 1.05, and, uh, and you could take a look and see what that looks like um, by looking at the print preview or the report view. And you can see there we go, we've got 1.05 times the price, although it's got that box around it, which looks kind of ugly, so we'll go back and we'll fix that. Uh, again, you can go to the format and you can just click on your, your uh, control and then change the border style to transparent and that'll fix that um, that uh, border for you and we'll also change the format to currency because we know that this is a currency field um, and we'll add say a price with 5% tax make it a bit more descriptive for our calculated column and uh, and that gives a nice sort of uh, uh, nicer way to look at it. So now we have price with 5% tax. We've got our order price in there. We've got our concatenated order code as, a, as another calculated column. And uh, that is how you can do calculated columns on your reports in Access. Hope you enjoyed today's discussion on how to do a calculated column on your Access reports. If you like what you saw today, please give the video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet. And uh, click the bell when you see the bell so you'll be notified of any new content that I put up. If you have any questions or comments about what you saw today, please put those in the comment section below and uh, I'll do my best to get back to everybody. Have a great day, have a safe day, and I'll catch you next time.